we are therefore a little bit shocked when we see governors complaining that they are here to receive money for El Nino from the national government. Such money is not forthcoming. There are two things which you cannot hide from the public in the world. One is character. Two is pregnancy. No matter how hard you try to hide the two, they will come out with the time and the people will be able to identify that so and so is pregnant is pregnant or a certain person has a very weird character na kukaribisha rasmi kwenye mtandao wako number 1 darubini ya siasa hapa Double Vision TV nataka tuangazie suala zima la pesa ambazo zilikuwa zimetengwa na serikali ya mheshimiwa William Ruto za El Nino kabla mvua ya El Nino iweze kunyesha Rais aliweza kusimama na kusema kwamba serikali yake imetenga mabilioni nafikiri zaidi ya bilioni 40 za kugaramia madhara yatakayotokana na suala zima la El Nino. Alafu baadaye Rais akasimama akasema kwamba yale maombi ambayo walifanya yamesababisha mvua ya El Nino imeweza kutoweka, haitanyesha bali itakuwa tu mvua ya kawaida. Majuma mawili baadaye naibu wake Rigathi Gachagua akasimama na kuomba umma msamaha na kusema kwamba mvua ya El Nino imenyesha na wametoa takriban shilingi bilioni kumi kwenda kwa eh, kwa counties pale ama kwenda kwa magatuzi pale ili kushughulikia suala zima la El Nino. Lakini kitu cha kushangaza ni kwamba hadi sasa hivi pesa hizo hazijaweza kutolewa. Rigathi Gachagua jana akiwa pale Mombasa walikuwa anajibishana na gavana wa Mombasa mheshimiwa Abdul Swamad Sharif Nasir. Sharif Nasir akisema kwamba serikali za kaunti azijaweza kupokea pesa za El Nino wakiwa na orengo pale. Walipuuzilia mbali mambo hayo na kusema kwamba serikali imeweza kupokea hizo pesa. Rigathi Gachagua amejitokeza leo na kumzomea Sharif Nasir na kusema kwamba hakuna pesa ambazo serikali itatoa kuenda kwa counties pale kushughulikia suala la El Nino. Sasa tunashangaa. Sasa hii ya Kenya kwanza ni character, uongo, ukora, ufisadi na wizi wa hadharani. Yaani pesa zilikuwa zimetengwa, mkatuambia kwamba hamna El Nino, tena umetuambia kwamba ni El Nino, pesa mmesema kwamba mmetuma tena umerudi umesema hamkutuma na hamtatuma sasa unashangaa hii serikali ya Kenya kwanza inaelekea wapi ama wanataka kuanza kulaumu uhuru Kenyatta kwa El Nino niko sure very soon nitasikia kina Kimani Ichongwa ndindi nyoro wakilaumu wakisema kwamba mheshimiwa uhuru Kenyatta ndiye ameleta El Nino si ajabu usikie wakisema kwamba mheshimiwa uhuru Kenyatta rais Mustafa ndiye ameleta El Nino yani hawa watu wamekuwa wanachezea wa Kenya ile mchezo wa piki piki ponki and they don't even care what Kenyans are going through and this is very bad this is very bad and i'm warning you Kenya kwanza government leaders Kenya kwanza leadership you are taking this thing too far and the public is watching watu wanawaangalia na wamechoka na nyinyi this is very bad nataka kwanza tusikize uh, tusikize Rigathi Gachagua aliyosema sasa hivi Alafu turudi baadaye tuangalie matukio mengine ambayo aliweza kufanyika. Na nitakuelezea ni sababu gani ime, imefanya Rigathi Gachagua akazungumza hivi. Lakini kabla ni kupeleka pale mpenzi mtazamaji kama unajiunga na sisi kwa mara ya kwanza, bonyeza alama ya subscribe na ukiweza kufanya hivyo utakuwa umesupport channel hii sana. Alafu pia na kuomba uweza kupea hii video thumbs up na ucomment pale chini uniambie unanitazama ukiwa wapi. We are therefore a little bit shocked when we see governors complaining that they are here to receive money for El Nino from the national government. Such money is not forthcoming. They are expected to use emergency money within their financial provision and to reallocate money within their budget to intervene for the people that they govern. As a national government last week, we released 2.4 billion Kenya shillings as an initial injection into the effort and will continue to inject more as we proceed. Nataka sasa nikuchezee video ya nataka nikuchezee sasa 
uh, video ya Abdul Swamad Sharif Nasir wakiwa na James Orengo wakizungumzia suala hili hapo jana. Alafu kirejea pia hapa nitakuchezea video nyingine ya mwenyekiti wa baraza la magavana Mheshimiwa Anne Waiguru akizungumza na kusema kwamba anayozungumza katika shagwa ni mambo ya uongo na porojo mingi na hakuna pesa ambazo wameji wamepokea. Tusikize bwana Sharif Nasir. Mimi kwanza ni kuomba Mungu Mwenyezi Mungu azijalie ziingie. Itikie ni amini. Lakini urongo waswahili wanamsemo ukweli hauna haja ya nguzo ya kuweza kusimama. Ukweli ujaribu kuuzamisha unavotaka kuuzamisha, ukweli utaweza kuibuka wenyewe. Leo mimi natoa kauli hapa kama gavana wenu. Hamna ndururu hata, hata wacha ndururu. Ile pesa za zamani zile za zile za kutoboka pia hamna hata moja pesa ya lino iloweza kufika katika Mombasa. Ndugu gavana wa CIA hapa ameweza kukonfirm ya kwa pia wao. Walisema walikuwa na bilioni fulani ya kutoa kwa wananchi na kwa serikali gatuzi yani hela za El Nino na hawajatoa hata ndururu na siaya hawajatoa na ikiwa ametoa Mombasa ningejua kwa hivyo hiyo ni uongo mkitaka kujua sifa za mnafiki na serikali ya Kenya kwanza ni serikali ya unafiki Mombasa oye Nafikiri we mwenye umeweza kuangalia vile hizi hotuba ambazo wanapeana vile zinakinzana yani these are, are conflicting statements eh, naibu harisa anasema hivi kesho anageuka anasema hivi magavana wanasema hivi tena kesho unasikia mambo iko, iko tofauti yani unashanga what is happening here ile kitu ambacho inaendelea kwa hii serikali ni uporaji sasa zile pesa ambazo zilikuwa zimetengwa kando kushughulikia suala la el nino zishaliwa wameshazinyonya hizo sasa wanashangaa magavana mnaitisha pesa ambayo tushafionza tushakula mnatusumbua yani in short gachagua anajaribu kuambia magavana wacha kutusumbua pesa tushameza kama watu wanakufa hiyo pesa wanaweka kwa benki fanya kazi gani pesa yote saa hii kila gavana katika Kenya pahali watu wameadhirika wasimamishe kazi zote wanunulie watu chakula na blanketi na madawa hii shida ikikwisha tutarudi kwa mambo ya maendeleo. Tumekubaliana? Kwa sababu hata tukifanya maendeleo watu wakikufa unafanyia nani maendeleo? Kuna mtu unafanyia maendeleo? Usimamishe hiyo kazi yote, gavana wewe bwana Nasil. Na mimi mnajua ni mtu ya kusema ukweli. Na hii maneno ya, mimi nataka ni wapongeze gavana wa Wajia na Garissa na Mandera wametoa zaidi ya shilingi elfu milioni ya msini ya kulisha wananchi katika kaunti hizo. Na tunataka pia hapa na Tana River, governor wa Mombasa, governor wa Tana River, pesa mko nayo kwa bank, tumepea nyinyi pesa kutoka National Treasury, muachilie pesa wananchi wapate chakula, wapate madawa, wapate blanketi. Tumekubaliana? Alafu anaambia magavana kwamba zile pesa ambazo ziko kwenye mikoba yao pale kwenye kwenye county uweze kuzitumia alafu baadaye uweze kushughulikia swala la maendeleo na tunafahamu kwamba kwa utenda kazi wa serikali mambo hayafanywi hivyo uweze chukua pesa ziko kwa county ambazo ni za kulipa madaktari kulipa wafanyikazi wa county ushughulikie mambo ya nino alafu ukishafanya hivyo hizo pesa utazitoa wapi ulipe watu tunafahamu vile kuna shida kubwa ya kuteremsha pesa kutoka national government mpaka kwa county government unapoambia uh, magavana kwamba watumie zile pesa wako nazo pale alafu baadaye mambo ya maendeleo yatashughulikiwa baadaye who does that no mambo haifanywi hivyo sasa nataka tusikize eh, anwe igoro anapozungumza alafu baadaye nitakuelezea ni nini wa Kenya wanatarajia baada ya mvua ya nino kuisha date we wish to state and clarify 
that county governments have not received any allocation from the national government to go towards mitigation measures for El Nino. As a matter of fact, counties are owed a total of 62.58 billion from the equitable share that is yet to be disbursed as follows. 13 counties are owed 10.17 billion for the month of September. 27 counties are owed 19.64 billion for the month of October. And finally, all counties are owed 32.76 billion for the month of November. Nafikiri umeweza kusikiza. Na kila mkenya ameweza kuona mahali nchi yetu ya Kenya inaelekea. Je, ni nini kitatokea baada ya El Nino kuisha? Mara sababu ya kwanza watu watapoteza ajira. Manake ukiangalia upande wa eh, agriculture ama upande wa kilimo mazao yameweza kuharibiwa na tunafahamu kwamba eh, kilimo ndio uti wa mgongo wa nchi hii yetu ya Kenya na mvua hii inaponyesha bila kutibidhiwa na serikali inamaanisha kwamba wakulima haswa wakulima wadogo wadogo na wale wakulima wakubwa wataweza kuenda hasara kubwa sana watapoteza mazao na watapoteza pesa mingi sana hiyo ni sababu ya kwanza sababu ya pili ni kwamba kutakuwa na shida kwa masomo sababu mashule mingi zimeweza kuharibiwa mahospitali mingi zimeweza kuharibiwa kutakuwa na shida kubwa sana ya wanafunzi kuweza ku, 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 kuingia shule pale January manake tunafahamu serikali ya saa hii kila mara wanasema hawana pesa kwa hivyo kuta, ku, kuna baadhi ya mashule zitafungwa na serikali haina pesa ya yani serikali haina pesa ya kuenda kufanya marekebisho kwenye shule hizo eh athari nyingine ya tatu ni kwamba kutakuwa na magonjwa sugu haswa kipindupindu ama kolera pale na watu wengi wataweza kupoteza maisha kwa sababu tunafahamu kwamba wakati mali kama Mombasa wakati elino imeanza ma hospitali mingi zenye ziko kwa hiyo maeneo ambayo elino imeweza kukunyesha imeweza kuharibiwa na vile tumeambiwa kwamba serikali hakuna pesa itatuma pale inamaanisha kwamba watu ambao wanaishi maeneo hayo hawataweza kupata matibabu ya dharura kwa hivyo watapoteza maisha yao hiyo ndio changamoto ambazo wakenya watazipitia baada ya mvua ya elino kuisha. Nashukuru sana mpenzi mtazamaji na nashukuru sana kwa sababu naona channel yetu imeweza kukua kubwa inazidi kukua na leo tumeweza kupokea nafikiri takriban eh, subscribers tumefika elfu tatu na naomba tuendelee kufika manake baada ya mwisho mwisho wa mwaka huu nataka tuwe tumefika subscribers elfu tano nashukuru sana na Mungu aweza kuwabariki na kama hujaweza kubonyeza alama ya subscribe mpenzi mtazamaji uweza kubonyeza pale na unapobonyeza tu hivi utapokea baraka mpenzi mtazamaji manake unaposupport mwenzako na Mungu anakuongezea na anakusupport kwa maombi yako nashukuru sana na Mungu awabariki